Hi friends, today I am going to explain about how we can do the multi-layer animation in a single slide. So I have a tweet animation with this text, this image and this bubbles. So everything I have created in this powerpoint only. So I am just going to uh, show you the preview. You may see in here this is a text animation and background animation is going on in back side and this is a bubble animation. So everything I have done in the powerpoint only. If you really like this video, if you want to learn this kind of things, so please uh, watch the video till end. Definitely you will get something new and extraordinary from this video. Thank you. So friends, we will start with the graphics first. Delete this both of text box. Click on insert. Text box. Drag over here. Type your text. Make it middle alignment and increase the font size. Also, you may change the font family. So, I am changing here. Make it more larger. If you wanted to make it more larger, you can do a it depends on your choice. Go to format. Align, middle align, and center align. Now go to insert, saves, and take a rectangle shape, drag over here, select both of text and shape layer, and apply fragment. Select the back one, delete, and select this and delete. Now you can see this all text is converted in shape. So make sure before you convert the shape your text because of after you convert you cannot change the text okay so it's uh, just I am changing the color of outline I put a yellow color and I am removing the background color so choose no fill select all text and increase the width of outline See, now drag over here one more layer, the same, copy, fill with the color and see, now what we will do, select all and apply here reflection. Our text part is over, now we will create the bubble. So what we'll do just take a new slide and just create a duplicate slide deleting here and how we can do it just we need to change the color so that we can check the bubble colors because the bubble will be white so if background will be white well, then we cannot find out the same so go to insert and take a rectangle sorry circle and apply the gradient over here we have outline, change the outline color thickness of outline and change the color it's white and this also will be white put here 90 degree transparency we have already radial and se select the first one, the center one so that center gradient will come and this position uh, will put over here 53 percent and this will be 100 percent now drag one more remove the out no outline and go to linear gradient put here 90 degree change the direction of gradient just put this one transparency 50% and this one 0 100% scale bit scale and arrange this inside of this circle scale Select the first one and apply the gradient on borderline 
gradient we have by default this four switches so change the color it's white this also will be in white this also in white and this also white so what we will do just select the first one and put the transparency in the percent and same here transparency last one put the hundred percent When I'm putting this two side of hundred percent, then two side highlights are coming out to like two side highlights are not coming. So that's why I put it on this. So take one more circle here and remove the outline. Change the direction of gradient. This ninety degree put it hundred percent. Make it smaller. Make it small. Put over here. Take one more. Make it small compared to first one, and put over here. Zoom out. Now you can see in your water bubble base has been ready. Select all and make it one more duplicate and change the place of highlighting because of we have to create the multiple bubbles. So every bubble should not look on same. Lighting. So that's why some two three types of you have to create. Then now make it group. All two individually. Select all and press Control G for group. Make it small. Randomly only. One will be small. One will be big. Like that. bubble has been ready so what we will do just we need to arrange here arrange this randomly there is no thumb rule like uh, you should follow on what i am doing on here no need to follow this you just put randomly select all make it one more group sorry make it one more duplicate and now arrange this this you can arrange many more so like that uh, arrange bubbles randomly i think it's fine so now is the next step is 
we need to apply the background image from here we'll click over here insert picture Open here, match with the borderline and send it back. Select this well from sorry. Now, what we will do, we have bubbles on here and we have text on here. So, our graphical part has been over. Now, we need to create the animation on scene. So, uh, next step is create a background for same so what we will do uh, we will go on insert click on the picture and I just insert in here in picture which I have and make it scale and send it back so now you can see in here our graphical part has been done and now we will start the animation work on this both of object uh, text and we have some bubbles so let's see how we can apply the animation on that now uh, we'll apply animation on these things so first we'll start with this background image so drag a little bit down and go to format background and apply the gradient over here uh, by default it scan with the green color so just i wanted to change color according to this image so while we can choose the color, just select this um, eyedropper is here and taking this orange color and I have some uh, deep blue related deep blue so I am just using this deep blue as well adjust your color if you wanted to add more color you can add we have radial a gradient so I am just using radial only and this from top to right corner I am using this one ok now we will apply the animation on this image so how we can apply go to animation menu and apply the animation so I am using this red one click on uh, animation pan as of now we don't require this uh, portlet so format background portlet I am closing this and you may see in your start is there so go to start and apply here with previous and duration also we need to increase till 6 you may directly also type 6 or 7 something and now uh, we'll apply animation on this text so select the text and apply the animation bounds This also will be in with previous and duration time will be less 0.75 is fine so we'll arrange this in this manner follow this control and deselect this control and deselect this Now it's done. Now we'll apply animation on this. So I'm applying your wipe option. This also will be in with previous mode. Increase the time till 2.5 or 3 something. Okay, so make sure uh, it should start uh, after this animation. So we will uh, delay the time. Okay. So now uh, click alternate, click the first, then give second one, then third, then fifth, and then sixth. So I just uh, choose this four one and le I left the three. So what we will do? We have effect option here. So this isn't going top. So we will do this. So what will happen this effect will run from top to bottom uh, 4 and bottom to top 3 
and now select all and match with your back here and now select all go to format alignment and middle alignment now our animation has been over on text now we will work on the these bubbles so select this all bubbles ctrl c and paste over here and delete this slide as of now we don't want ok so you can see in here uh, we have you can see in here we have many more bubbles are here so we need to apply animation on same go to animation and apply fly in animation go to start and with previous and increase the duration around 3 and what we will do just click on here in the background and we have from this bubble has started from group so this is a 5 to 6 to 676 6. till here we have uh, bubbles so randomly this just increase the time frame and decrease increase the time frame little bit just make a pyramid so that that um, animation also will run like that someone will more time take and some will take less time to go top so randomly just you can decrease and increase the time like that you have to tap so like that arrange the all layers time duration now it's done so what we'll do uh, select this group 5 to 6 to 1 and press shift and select this your bubble part has been selected right click go to effect option we have timing option and duration and repeat so we'll go with repeat and select this three and go to effect and we have a smooth and just smooth and uh, increase the time and press ok and run once then you can find what is the animation is going on actually So your animation has been done. So like that you can prepare your own presentation theme and also you may import the same thing as a video file by go to file, export, create a video and just put over here which quality you need 4K, uh, 1080 or 720. So just I am giving you an example, create a video, just you wanted to Presentation to this is the name. So just time saving here. So it's going on here. You may check here. So your presentation is going on here. So this all presentation tool. Now I'm double clicking here. You can see here the video is going on. So like that you can prepare your own video and your own presentation.